Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here, and tonight I'm bringing you a guide on my favorite pests from each family. Now we are to the beast family, and there are some awesome pets in this category. Really, it was actually really hard to choose, because there are just so many fantastic pets in this particular family. But, I just want to talk about a couple of them. Now, I'm going to briefly go over ones that I've mentioned in other videos. Uh, and we're going to start off with the Rose Taipan. Now, the Rose Taipan has a very, 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 very strong moveset. He's got Poison Fang Puncture Wound combined with Blinding Poison. It's the same combo that made the Death Adder Hatchling just absolutely lethal during Mist of Pandaria. And uh, he's still a really, really great pet, especially because of this combo right here and blinding poison actually all of it's just great so he's 341 speed which is faster than most pets in the game with an exception of flying types and hares and uh anyway and what makes that great is for blinding poison that'll blind them for two rounds instead of one and so traditionally what you do with this guy is you throw out blinding poison you do poison fang and then they switch out and you do puncture wound uh, well, usually what I try to do is blinding poison, then a double poison fang, because they almost always switch out so you don't hit them with puncture wound, and uh, so you hit the second pet with poison fang as well. But just a really great pet, and he's wild caught, so he's really easy to find the SS breed. And uh, one thing that's great is they've actually limited the number of breeds on a lot of pets, where you can actually catch the breed that you want. So, yeah, snag yourselves one of these. These guys are out in Stormheim. In the Broken Isles. Uh, the next pet on this is a Scalded Basilisk Hatchling. I talked about this in the best pets of Outland, uh, but he's just got a really solid kit here with Crystal Prism, Feign Death, and Thrash. You usually stun them, you hit them with Thrash, and then when they're gonna hit you, you just Feign Death, and then you go into the back, so you just get a free uh, bunch of damage on them, and uh, they can't do anything, and then you switch into the back line until your cooldowns are off. Uh, the HS breed is what I would go for on this guy. Now, I've talked about the Vengeful Porcupine before. He's found out in the Broken Isles, and you buy him with uh, bloody coins from doing PvP and killing people of your same faction or other factions, and people who ground for this are horrible human beings. Um, as somebody who spent a lot of time out on the Timeless Isles, I was so tired of seeing people come up who were like all glowy red, because it meant these people are going to murder me and I'm just trying to farm for a mount or a pet. Uh, but he's really great, he's got power ball, you can combine that with spirit spikes or with vengeance. Uh, he's just really a fantastic tier one pet, and he's got a giant chunk of health. So that means when he's below 1500 health, or excuse me, 50% health, that's like, what, 750 health? Which is still quite a bit left um, compared to other pets, so. Yeah, definitely snag him. Now, pets I did not talk about extensively. Uh, I'll just gloss over this one. Any spider pet that's a power, power breed. I've got the Widow Spiderling. He or she is from uh, Duskwood that you can only catch at night. But really, any power, power spider with uh, brittle webbing and life leech and poison spit. That's the setup I like to run. So, they're just really good against humanoids. Now... This is a little bit higher barrier of entry pet. Uh, it's one of the celestial pets, Zufu Cub of Zun. And he's just really great. For a long time, he's what only what you saw in PvP. He would go prowl and feed. And feed would heal him for 353 uh, damage or health. But with Prowl, it would increase your damage by 150%. So it was just like you could heal back up from half health with this guy. Uh, that's a slight exaggeration. But no, it's actually not really that slight of an exaggeration. You can heal up for about half health by doing that combo. And then uh, if you run Spirit Claws, it is an incredibly hard-hitting combo. One team that I like to run Zufu with is if you run him with the... Uh, what's the name of that pet? Trunks. He's from Completing the Awfully Big Adventure, who has uh, When Elkies Fly and Moonfire. It's just a really, really great team comp. I mean, it's a lot of beast damage and magic damage, 
so you're kind of not that great versus uh, machine pets or mechanical types, but he's awesome. I really enjoyed playing with him. Um, and then I've talked about the Zandalari, the raptors before. Really all you need on these pets is Black Claw and Hunting Party. It doesn't really matter uh, what else you have. And the Power Power breed uh, just makes him really, really valuable. So other honorable mentions I want to talk about was Grumpy here. Now, Grumpy, Cornelius. Let me throw this guy here. Where is Cornelius? Yeah, the Corgi Pup and Cornelius is what makes these guys really great is Super Bark. For the longest time during MOP and into Warlords of Draenor, the only pet that had um, an ability that didn't like kill low level pets was the terrible turnip which was a super rare pet from a farming daily out in the valley of the four winds but all these pets here as well as some others let's see what is it super bark okay well those are the only beast types that have it but what this is really useful for is for capturing other pets now uh, grumpy is really easy to get i'll leave a description or uh, link in the description below. I've got a video on how to find him. And then this is from the 10th WoW anniversary, and I think this is from the Warrior Order Hall campaign. Or just from anybody. It's not from the Warrior. It's just I did it in uh, one of these missions here. So the class hall missions. Um, but that'll wrap it up for beast types. I really enjoy the beast types. I feel like they're some of the coolest looking pets in the game, like the stunted uh, shard horn here. You know, I got my baby blizzard bear from my fourth and wow's fourth anniversary. Uh, there's a lot of really cool beast type pets. So, but those. Oh, this is one I I've mentioned in other videos, but I don't really see him a lot, and I think he's fantastic. Is this guy the warp stalker hatchling from Terracot Forest? Now, what makes him really cool is um, he can run Blink Strike, triple, uh, triple Snap, and Ravage, which just gives him incredible longevity. And he is a beast type that's strong versus flying types. So he is really cool. Uh, I wish he was a power power breed just because the speed is kind of lost on him with an exception of the Triple Snap. But going first doesn't make it so that you're more likely to get a three hitter. So a power power breed would be better on this guy, but all he comes is power breed. Anyway, that'll wrap it up for the beast type pets. If you found this video helpful, like rating would always be appreciated. It was a pleasure gaming with you and have a great night.